it's hell, and that's it. Okay. We're rolling. What's up? What's up, everybody? You gonna say it? What are we gonna do? You say it. Test what are we gonna star do? airplane. You, you you gotta do the intro. What's up, everybody? It's me, Riley, and my dad, Russ. Russ. Yes, as always. With rwresearch.com, which I haven't updated in like two years. I need to do that. Anyway. <laughs> my car last weekend. My remote <laughs> uh, the remote should be activated, so if you power it up, it should turn on. It does, yeah. And then it's on manual control right now, so it should work manually. What am I controlling again? You know what that you're controlling. Tail. Oh my god, this scares me. <laughs> Well, it's in manual right now, so the tail won't go with it. They're separate. You're just not both going straight over. Well, where's your So, this switch, this one, if you flip it all the way down, it'll go into stabilization, which is how it auto levels. All the way down. Is it all the way? Okay. Now, if you do the aileron, ailerons, it'll do the tail at the same time. See that? You like this barely move it. Oh, it's like... Yeah, I know. That's why I said we could adjust the. Uh, we should probably adjust where these are at on here to make it a little less. Um, a little less, so it's a little. I don't know. Maybe we'll fly it. Tomorrow. We'll adjust it and we'll fly it. And then we'll see what's happening. But I want to see if the stabilization works. That's what I want to know. Did you guys cut wood? So if you, if you don't touch that, and then we hold the plane up, I said if we don't touch that, oh. and if we hold the plane up, it should do what it's supposed to do. So, see the tail? Mm-hmm. tail's moving, right? Yep. Wait, then, why is it the ailerons, off? The ailerons are moving. Look at the ailerons. They're moving. Guys, what is this up? Because up. I got the, the plane tilted up. See? This yellow. So it's going up, it's going to push you back down. If it's going down, it's going to push you back up all by itself. And then if I'm going down and Rally wants to keep going down, she can use the stick to go down. And go down, forward, right? See, and then she's got control. And the ailerons, try the ailerons. You have control over them? Yeah. So you still have manual control, but it shouldn't let you. I think. I gotta set it up so that you can't. When it's in stabilization, you won't be able to move it. No, you can still move it, but you won't be able to go too far. So right now, if I take the plane and I tilt it, it's trying to level. So you try to go. You have to stand right here. More. Yeah, you know, that way, right? So it, it's not like it's still allowing me to. Oh no, actually, it's not. Hold it over. Hold it over that way. And that's this way. Yeah, it's not. It's not stopping. It doesn't. It could care less. So there's a bunch of settings and things we got. I, I have to. We have to figure out where. If the plane's going too far, and you hold the stick, it's just going to keep rolling. We actually don't want that. We want it to bank. You mean like this? Yeah, we want it to like. If it's like under, it's like beep, 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 and then when you turn it, then it's just going to try to bubble itself out. Oh, like if you If you put that little long lever all the way up. This? No, the, the, yeah, that's the mode. Is it all the way up? Because that's, the, that's a three, the, there you go, that's a three position switch. So now, now, there's no stabilization. See? So flip that all the way down and it'll try to level. So now it's going to try to level the plane, right? But if you turn that off, okay, you know, bring it back down. So that's safe mode. That's auto level stabilization mode. That's one number one. What's number one? Well, there's three switches. There's a three position. That's a three position switch. Zero, one, and two. Yes. So zero is all the way up. 
That's normal, like you have full control. All the way down is stabilization, and then I'm gonna do something with, with three. I'm probably gonna use another switch for home, or to try to get the plane to come back home. Oh, you mean like, beep. Yeah, so if, if the plane gets really far away and I can't control it, I don't know what is happening, I'm gonna set one more, I have one more channel, I'm gonna set that channel to auto home. So like when I flip well, that yeah, one, but it's still come back. it'll come back, yeah. And I think I'll set a three position switch. I think I have another one. And I can put that on the other channel. So what'll happen is, is I can do one for home, zero for normal flying, and then like three for like some other function, like letting the plane fly its mission or something. Put it in the mission mode. What are these little buttons back here? Which one? This one has a C, this one has Well, an L. you can program them to do other things. Right now they're not programmed. Me, if I put this on No. It, was, it might catch on fire and blow up, but other than that, nothing. What is these? They're the same thing. They're all programmable. You can do different functions with them. But we only have a seven. We only have a seven-channel remote, though. So you Wait, can only six-channel remote. We only have a six-channel remote. Which means you can only add three more switches. On. So we have we have what are these? Ailerons. So that's one. Way down back there. The elevator and rudder. That's three. Yeah. Yeah. Throttle. It's four. So we have two channels left. One of them I programmed for the mode. That's what that switch does. And we have one more switch, which I'm probably going to use for auto home to automatically bring it back. If, and, then, and then the other one, I'll, I, if we plan a mission, like try to let the plane fly itself around the mission that we make, mm -hmm. then I'll put that switch to mission mode. The other thing we need is an arm. To arm the plane, so to like activate it, so the prop works. So we we may have to use one of those switches as the arm. I'm not sure yet. I have to play with it. But the thing is, is it doesn't allow it. If you put it to bank, like if you if you try to turn it, here, try to turn it the other way. Oh yeah, the other way actually. Yes. So this is allowing it to turn. But see how it see how it's just Are you doing that? You're not? What's that? Oh, that's your tail. Oh, it's trying to bring itself back up upside down. Hey, that means we can fly upside down. Like semi autonomous me. <laughs> oh, you mean like sideways? So you know what it just did? It allowed us to roll over. But instead of the tail going down, the tail was actually the other way. It automatically flipped on us. So it knew the way it was. Yeah, which is kind of cool. If you hold the this one, the elevator, all the way forward. I, yeah, hold it all the way forward. Like I'm going down. Okay, and I roll it. Let's see if it flips over automatically. No, but if you let go. Huh. That's pretty cool. So it's trying, it's a lot, okay, you know what it's doing? It's, we didn't put any roll control on it apparently. I don't think, I didn't set it up yet, so I don't know what it's automatically set up to. But apparently, it is still trying to do the tail force, which is actually pretty cool. It's kind of neat, actually. So, we gotta set up a lot of things, but at least we know if you put it into, if we put it into um, stabilization. Right now it's in stable. No, it's in normal. Now it's in stable. So we, we can test. Right, if the plane is tilting. This one's going up. So which way is the plane going to want to try to go? Going to want to roll out because the wind hits it, right? It wants to push it back. So those those are set up correctly. Right. And what about the tail? We're going down. It wants to go up. It's going to hit that and go back this way, right? And then if we're going up, it's going to bring it back. Yeah, because which way is the wind hit it? <laughs> yep, and it's going to push it this way, right? And then the tail, I think the tail's supposed to, 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 post to uh, stabilize this way, but it's, it doesn't, it's, it's, it's not really moving. But I don't think it really needs to, we got the, we got the wind and the elevator and the aileron. 
these are the most important. This one just helps. Yeah, that one's not really even needed to fly the plane, but it is helpful. Yeah. yeah. All you need is really just this. Yeah, but I like having the tail because you can do more fun things with it. And it looks cool. Yeah. Alright. Oh my, I banged the whole thing. What? I banged in front of it or something. I don't know how that happened. What was that? And the electronics all fit. Not that that's where they're going to go, but. Alright. Good stuff. At least we know it's working. And, uh, that's pretty cool.